Hi, I'm Riette Fern from Marsh, and I'm co judge today with Judge Sio on the third task. Um, and with me is Adrian Lemmer from Marsh, assisting us with this task. Um, Adrian, the um, cutting edge team seems to be the stronger team, and it seems to have a lot better synergy in their team. I agree with that 100%. Roxanne has, um, from being the dominant um, person and the obvious leader in that team, has taken a few steps back and um, her role as the leader has been taken over by Era. It's almost as if Roxanne, when she answers a question, is looking at the rest of the team and more in particular at Aaron for approval. Um, it, it looks like she's lost her confidence and I wonder whether something didn't happen in that team um, to make that change because it is radical. Did you find that as well? Absolutely agree with you. In the beginning she was almost speaking on behalf of the team and saying we decided this and we decided this didn't we? And now it's more a question of do you think we should decide this? Azar was quiet um, initially. He says a lot more. Um, he's a, I think he's a quiet guy, but um, he's a thinker. Whatever he says, he, he says with authority and he can back it up what he says. So he is turned in, in that team as a very strong candidate for me. And um, also Aaron and unfortunately Roxanne appears to have uh, lost her enthusiasm or maybe, maybe her confidence, I don't know. I haven't won a task yet. I'm very determined to win. I need to win. Uh, there can't be any other way. I do believe that I've got uh, strong characters in my team, but uh, in terms of the core information and uh, responsibilities that are required by the task, I've got uh, the knowledge and they've picked that up. Everyone is uh, you know, working around the meat and I am eating the meat. By me uh, eating the, the meat, um, I mean uh, that's the core requirements of the, of the exercise. You know, the client uh, has had uh, this loss and it's claims related and they due for renewal. So what they need to know is, uh, you know, how am I affected, what's going to happen to my business and that's all that I am um, uh, concentrating uh, on. By Azar eating the bone, I mean that he's not concentrating on the core requirements of the exercise. He's only increase, uh, uh, concentrating on how much the premium will increase. I'm naturally a numbers person and I like to quantify our solutions. This task is something that I've done before. It's a task where I've been involved in many of these aspects of renewals. I'm a very large contributor. I've done this thing day in and day out. There are some people who are of the view that I started off being very aggressive and now I'm becoming overly passive. I don't think that's the case. I need to at times step away from the situation. I need to also look at myself. Am I being too passive? Am I being too aggressive? Perhaps I am letting a lot more things slide because the things that I'm firm on are the important ones. So in terms of this task, it has been voted that I am taking a leading role. I'll be the account executive, so I'll be chairing the meeting in terms of the introduction. Um, as well will be my support in the meeting and Aaron will specifically be talking about the claims issue. I feel that um, Aaron's strengths only being in claims may be limited as he is not um, used to being in renewal meetings. I've been in renewal meetings with both brokers and insurers uh, where we have had to deal with incidents exactly like we are dealing today. So to ensure that we win today's task, my team and I have tried to think of scenarios or questions that may come up uh, with regards to our conclusion of how we're going to deal with today's task. So for every recommendation we have put forward, we have tried to come up with all the possible questions that the panels may ask us. Come. Afternoon everyone. First of all, we, would just, we are very pleased to be appointed as the new brokers and we would just like to extend our appreciation. Just to get the formalities out of the way, I would just like to hand a copy of the agenda to each uh, one of you. Can you just cut the formalities um, and tell us how we're going to sort out our problem, please? We assure, assure you that you have the appropriate cover in place. With regards to the, to the fire that happened at Industria uh, last night, um, Aaron has had a numerous conversation with your factory and manager and he's going to shed some light on this. What, well, what's happening to the injured people? 
Uh, injured people uh, have actually been transported to a hospital which we have been uh, notified by your factory manager. Just bear with me that we are almost in mourning. My company that took me 20 years to build up is gone up in smoke. The mere fact that I'm allowing you to sit here yes. tells you that I've got confidence in you. Thank you. So please tell me and put my mind at ease about the injuries. You can have a peace of mind. All the injured st staff uh, employees will be covered in terms of the policies. What policy is going to pay for uh, medical expenses? Yeah, we've got a we've got a general liability uh, policy in place. You know, you are so clinical, yes, and and you don't understand the trauma I'm going through. So we want to make sure that. Through this tough time, we're going to make this transition as smooth as possible. But I think what the message that we're trying to get across is that we have put a lot of measures in place to ensure that we touch base with you at each and every single point in time. Um, we're talking about the future, yet I am not, I don't have comfort about where we go from here as we mm -hmm. sit here. Could um, extend the policy with the current insurer for four, for four months in order to ensure the finalisation of the claim. So our options are stay where we are, mm -hmm. same price, or we go with this new guy that says maybe we're going to charge you more premium. Or we stay just for a while longer to make up our minds, yeah. which yes. I think in our case is by far the best idea. Yeah. So we've got a mandate for the extension of four months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for you. Well teams, we're back here now for uh, the results of your presentations and the feedback. So to start off, I would, I would like to ask Vuyo to uh, give feedback to some of the individuals here, please. So for individual feedback, let me start on my right here with, with Walter. Uh, Walter, I think you did very well today. It was an excellent presentation. Uh, you took control of the situation. You addressed some of the questions and concerns of the client very clearly. So overall, you had a great day. So well done. Mopedi, so you uh, have got a very good voice and you project yourself very well and you present yourself very well. My one caution to you is when you do get a mandate, you get out. Okay, so the client made it clear that you have a mandate. Don't try hard to stick to the script or stick to what you wanted to say at the presentation. So when the client's already said, guys, you've got no time, you're done, you've got your mandate, you should have actually left at that moment. Matthew, um, in terms of your engagement with the panel, I think it was very good. I think it took quite a strong role in terms of um, reassuring the client. What you need to start focusing more is showing them the more empathetic side and also showing them that you are the right guy in terms of the relationship as well. Azar, in terms of your presentation, I think you did well in giving assurance to the client in terms of their concerns. What you did very well in that particular situation is listening. So you did demonstrate that you are listening to the client. My word of caution in terms of the presentation is timing. Timing is very critical. So don't wait it out. Don't wait and see you know, what's happening within the situation. Your colleagues were under fire and you basically sat back for a while and then you came in. Aaron, um, you, you did come across a bit flustered when the client was asking you about what's happening with the existing claim. What's happening with uh, where things are going right now. What we did like is the fact that you demonstrated a certain personal touch and, and proactiveness in your, in your answers. And Roxanne, uh, finally, I think um, in terms of the presentation, in the past task, you do show that you do, you do structure very well. This was not a situation for structure. So coming in and saying, here's an agenda, uh, in a situation where there's a crisis, is something you start thinking about. So from a relationship perspective, you could have injected a bit more empathy. Thank you, Boyu. Right. Okay, um, I'll give uh, feedback first to uh, Value Broker team. I was a little disappointed that you almost behaved as if you were individual brokers rather than as a, as a team presenting to the client. If you see one of your, your colleagues floundering, help them, but help them in a way that you're not talking over them. The comment has been made already about the mandate, okay, and it's, it's, it's something really to remember. Don't oversell. Stop. Um, and then finally, I, I, I thought that 
that you didn't really offer us as, as, as the client a solution. As far as cutting edge is concerned, I thought that there was good creativity in terms of the four month extension that you offered, because that really was a solution for the client while you go and do whatever you need to do to try and fix all of the rest of, of the stuff related to the renewal. I would say to you also learn to listen. Also be careful of using things like we, they, us, them, you, because we don't know who you're talking about, or the policy. The tactic that was followed today was to be disruptive. I heard more than once that today's task is not all that difficult. Uh, you guys were perhaps a little bit, you know, at ease uh, about it. The crisis that was created was going to be a, a, a crisis for you. And when Adrian basically started off by saying, look, I'm not interested in your structured uh, uh, meeting. I'm interested in my people. I think that took the wind out of the sails of both teams. I think that both teams attempted to start in exactly the same way. Uh, I think you know once once both teams realised that uh, you know they weren't going to have it their own way, they actually did try and pacify the client and tried in, in, in to varying degrees of success. But I think generally speaking, if we compare the two teams, it was much of a muchness. The different the, the, the differentiator between the two teams was really that the one team were far more responded to the client's need at, the, at that particular moment, okay? And it all ends about around the fact that, uh, that Cutting Edge basically came up with a suggestion that the current covers policies actually be extended for four months in order to sort out the mess that uh, the client was in, uh, whereas the other team kind of went, went away sort of with a mandate to put everything in place be, be before, before it went out. And because of that reason, that reason only, the winner today is Cutting Edge. Okay, um, then all that remains is for me to thank Marsh and particularly to thank Riet and Adrian for being here today. And then again, to my fellow judge, Boyle, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.